And Jesus says this very strange thing to his closest followers. He looks them all in the eye and he says this. You can follow along on the screen. He says, truly I tell you, whoever believes in me, listen guys, you're gonna do the works that I've been doing. In fact, he goes more. He says, you're gonna do greater things. Imagine that. Imagine Jesus looking at you like he did. There. He said, you're gonna do even greater things. He was looking at them and he, he was saying, hey, you're gonna reach more people than I am. He's looking at his closest disciples there and he's saying, listen, you're gonna take the gospel to more places than I ever will. You're gonna be the ones who are gonna catalyze this movement of redemption and love that's gonna change the whole landscape of this planet back to the way I dreamed it could be. You're gonna be the ones, he says, who are gonna write this best-selling book called the Bible. You're gonna do greater things. And what Jesus was being in that moment in his life and leadership was he, he was actually being what we're gonna call a hero maker. Say that after me, hero maker. Now, some people push back and say, oh, isn't Jesus our hero? Absolutely. He stretched out his arms and died on the cross. But I think if you look at his life and his leadership over and over and over again, it was always about him, okay, empowering others who would empower others, who equip others to advance the mission. He was being a hero maker.